Yeah, the details coming through thick and fast, and again, uh, some of it has to be taken uh, with a pinch of salt until it's been thoroughly confirmed. We are seeing various uh, pictures of someone purported to be Gaddafi uh, on various channels on the internet, but again, it has to be confirmed who is in those pictures. Um, First of all, then, the NTC said Gaddafi's been taken alive. Now the latest reports is that he is dead. Do you think they actually intended to take him alive in the first place? Well, I am very skeptical of every so-called official report, Kevin, whether it's from the NTC, whether it's from Washington, any of the other NATO partner countries in this campaign, from NATO headquarters in Brussels, from the Western media, I have an independent report, and I honestly don't know one way or another, but I have an independent report on Mathaba, Mathaba, M-A-T-H-A-B-A dot net, and they report that green committees, green is the, is the official color of the Libyan government's flag, a solid green flag. Green committees report the official reports coming over the Western media are false. Gaddafi is alive. Uh, whether he's been injured or not, I don't know, but they say he's alive. Earlier reports were that one of his sons, Saif, was captured. Then he turned out up very quickly, triumphantly in Tripoli. Another son, Kamis, I believe, I think at least twice he was reported killed, and then he reported, then he showed up alive. Well, we've got another Gaddafi... report, Stephen. We've also been just actually saying ourselves, again, unconfirmed, but another report, something that's just happened in the last uh, half hour or so, that uh, another of Gaddafi's sons, we don't have a name, uh, at the moment anyway, reportedly killed in, in CERT as well. Again, uh, it, can it be believed? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've written several articles in the last week or so, including really debunking the major media reports, Western media reports, absolutely falsified. CERT is not controlled by the NTC. Neither is Bonnie Wally. Bonnie Wally, and as a matter of fact, neither is most of Tripoli or Benghazi, as a matter of fact. Uh, what, what I call loyalist fighters, uh, the Libya Jamaria, a loyalist fighters, you can give them any name you want, but the Libyans who want to live free, free from NATO, free from these, these uh, mercenary fighters that NATO recruited, free from NATO colonization and occupation, they are resisting. They have bested the best of NATO's ferocity for seven months. Imagine ordinary people tying down the world's most powerful military force for seven months, and they still control most parts of Libya. It's astonishing, and the Western media is lying. They are lying, and the official reports are lying, and, and, and the battles go back and forth. Some of the territory changes hands. Maybe, maybe the rebels get it, and, and, then, and then the loyalists get it back. But the latest reports I had yesterday were Tripoli, Bani Walid, Sirte, Benghazi, Misrata, and other cities across Libya, most of their territory were in loyalist hands, not NATO's control. Stephen, I, I mean, I'm taking everything you say there completely, um, but just looking at what we're seeing on face value, just at first value, I do have a name, actually, I can put to uh, one of uh, Gaddafi's sons that we were talking about just then that's been reportedly killed this afternoon. It's uh, Mutasim Gaddafi, we're hearing again. Not confirmed, though. Um, just one of the clock back, US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, only a couple of days ago, said that Gaddafi should be captured or, crucially, stroke, killed. You know, was that a license to kill for the new government, looking at this at face value, if he has been killed today? Well, I would say on, that, on the basis of that statement alone, Hillary Clinton should be indicted as a war criminal. Uh, you mean she wanted to put out a contract to kill somebody? That's complicity in, in, in murder. If it happened, of course, uh, Hillary Clinton and Obama and the team around them have committed so many war crimes that uh, it might take the rest of their lives just to put them through court proceedings to, to settle all these things away. I, in, in an article I put out this morning, I quoted the very statement Hillary Clinton made. Uh, she was she was uh, smuggled into Tripoli for a photo op, a brief photo op. She couldn't land at the airport, by the way, Kevin, because there's this fighting going on all around the 
airport. There's no way a plane could land safely. Oh, it's possible a helicopter dropped her in, in, into Tripoli for a brief photo op, uh, and then they had to somehow manage to get her out alive. Uh, wouldn't it have been lovely if, uh, if they tried to get her in on a helicopter and they shot the helicopter down? Because, because the loyalists have weapons that are able to do things like this, but you'll never hear reports about this on the major media. They have downed some, some NATO aircraft, some, I think some drones, and, and I think a couple of helicopters have been shot down. So, I mean, I mean these, these resistance fighters, all they want is their country back. They want to be liberated. They want to live free. They want the right to, to rebuild and live in peace. Stay having It's a busy afternoon. We've got a lot of big news stories on. Fred, we're out of air time for now, but ever so good to have you on the programme as ever. Stephen Lenman, radio host and author, thank you.